Okay, morning folks. Welcome to the briefing on Monday the 3rd of October. So, um, surprisingly, we, we had a reasonable weekend. Uh, and certainly yesterday, you know, 12 hours before the day, it, it looked like it was going to rain all day and then the front cleared through. And some good soaring to be had uh, in the afternoon. So, just goes to prove that the, the weather's not a, a dead cert. 12 or 24 hours ahead, um, things do change uh, and it's worth keeping an eye on it. So today, what have we got? We've got the lull before all this is, is lining up to get us uh, over the next day or two. Uh, various um, waves of, of fronts and rain coming through, but a little bit of high pressure building over us and just slowly now slipping away by the looks of it to the continent. Uh, there's quite a lot of clouds circulating in that high pressure. As you can see, the isobars are well spaced apart. So uh, the general drift appears to be light southerly um, for most of the day, it's starting off easterly, then, then going southerly. Um, but as I say, it's quite a cloudy high, um, and there's lots of various layers of cloud by the looks of it uh, inside that. So moving it forward 12 hours, you can see that the, uh, the fronts are starting to, to march through. And then for tomorrow, stronger southwesterly winds. Um, and then we go into the uh, sort of Wednesday. Uh, the fronts really go through properly. So fairly windy on Wednesday by the looks of it. And moving into Thursday. So interesting days ahead. Um, it depend on, uh, on the sort of timing of the fronts, really. Okay, so... Taft's a farm brother saying 123 knots. It started off sort of northeasterly, slowly coming round um, southeasterly. Not very strong. I think it might pick up a little bit in the afternoon to about five to eight knots. Um, they're giving scattered at four and a half, and I think there's going to be just you know, various layers of, of mid level cloud. Uh, there's no rain forecast there, and it just says, you know slowly becoming sort of 10k viz there might even be little bits of fog lurking about um, around the area this morning um, and Gatwick are very similar eventually becoming sometime uh, overnight um, 230 11 knots upper winds well at flying heights it's up to 5,000 feet as you can see it's it's southerly in here and in the boxes here, but but the higher winds are westerly because you know, that's where it's driving through uh, with the fronts. So that'll slowly pick up, let's say, late in the day, overnight. Ready for you know, quite breezy tomorrow by the looks of it. Sat pick, let's just refresh this. Get the latest sat pick. So you see quite a lot of cloud associated with um, with this high pressure sort of coming down from the northwest uh, a number of different layers by the looks of it uh, of cloud certainly some upper stuff and mid-level cloud mixed in there no rain at all there's an odd spot here and a bit in wales but nothing of any note uh, temperature wise 17 degrees bbc seem to be suggesting that so just like yesterday, it's going to feel quite pleasant um, in the afternoon. Didn't really need a coat. I think it'll be the same today. But you know, with a little, a little more cloud, it, it might sort of take the edge off the temperature at times. Two points. It's a bit odd because they're, they're suggesting eights and nines. Um, I can only think it must be that little trailing front that's that's changing things here with with a sort of increase in dew points because currently dew points are between five and seven um, over most places, and that indicates um, we're talking about some local soaring by the looks of it, but not really um, much more than that. And I haven't looked at the actual ascent, but I suspect there is an inversion. Uh, lurking at sort of four to five thousand feet and if dew points are, are down at sort of five to sevens we're not going to see any cumulus and I think at best it's going to get up to two and a half thousand feet above Lasham 
and the ascents will go a little bit wobbly after that, to be honest. So two and a half, three, three above sea level, um, at best local soaring for a couple of hours. Certainly not as good as yesterday, varying levels of, uh, of cloud. As you can see, Top Meteo is suggesting the same sort of thing. That if you run through the, uh, the cloud amounts during the day, giving upper cloud and mid-level cloud. Coming and going, some cumulus over London. Uh, but yeah, cumulus, I think in, in places at times, um, up to two and a half, three thousand feet above sea level at best. This is obviously the little trailing front that showed on the map that's that's coming in. Don't think it's going to be a problem for us. Um, certainly not for today. Uh, thermal heights. So by 12, 1 o'clock. Some chance of local soaring. They're, they're saying eight, 900 meters around Lasham. 1,000 meters, so 3,000 feet. Um, but not lasting very long, maybe a couple of hours. Uh, and Sky Sight are suggesting the same sort of thing. The, the predicted flight distance is, is all white, so uh, they're not suggesting it's going to be a cross country day. This sort of cloud amounts, um, the upper cloud coming and going, the greens, the mid level um, cloud, and you move that on a few hours, and it, it just is cloud at various levels coming and going. And thermal heights. In the afternoon, they're even they're even less um, optimistic than top meteo. So three hundred meters, a uh, thousand feet, better further to the north. Put that back. Yeah, nine nine hundred meters uh, by sort of early afternoon, and then deteriorating as the day goes on. Probably because of the southerly wind. So, folks, um, yeah, fly, certainly a flyable day. Uh, good for training. And good for a little bit of local soaring. Okay, so what else is going on? Airspace-wise, uh, not a lot locally, as you can see. And, and some of the things aren't really relevant. Number 17 is, is hang gliding and paragliding at uh, Coombe Gibbet. Uh, 24 is the no time for weekend parachuting at South Cerny. 25 is is just that uh, um, danger area is active outside its normal hours. And 26 is Morton in the Marsh. Um, they've got drone trials running till the 6th. So nothing really of, of any great relevance um, to us. In terms of jet movements, uh, there's an outbound 737 at 12 o'clock local. That's currently what the uh, um, the latest flight plan shows. Um, whether it will go on time is uh, remains to be seen. Okay, Barry Elliott's running the field today. I won't be there. Um, I'll leave him to determine what to, what the setup direction is going to be. I would imagine the winds light southeasterly at the moment, so it'll be zero nine. Okay. <laughs>